All right, you guys, we had to stop at Harris Tater because we had to get some dry ice, had to feed the bean. Um, my husband, uh, his mom, and uh, little Charlie are in there. So little Charlie and mom are getting ice cream. And then my husband is looking for dry ice because like I said, we're going to go get meat. So we have to get a ton of dry ice to keep all of the meat obviously cool and well preserved. <laughs> pick this ice cream. Did you pick this? Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Got the little Oreo ones. That was his choice for all of us. These are cute. I don't think they have any Paw Patrol outfits. Neither do I. We'll probably have to buy it on Amazon. Oh, isn't that cute? Beanie, you could be a Wayne Wyatt or a baby T Rex. This is cute. Oh. Little chicken. It's the Reese's. There's a. Uh, There's two dogs. He could be a gnome. Oh, oh no, that's 12. That is the only lion one. No, there's a. Dalmatian. What about Scooby Doo? Mm -hmm. Oh no! You having a good time? Mm. No, no, Daddy! Dib's not a fan. Do you want to be milk and cookie dog? Or my vodka to my seltzer? Or my beer in the pong? You guys already know what aisle this is. I mean, do you see how big this clearance section is? This is like my, a holiday for me. Like, I freaking love this stuff. I'm always going to be nosy and look to see what I can get my hands on that's gonna be a good deal that maybe have an eyeball on like look how cool those pool inflatables were like you know those things are so expensive usually we definitely would have bought one if that's what we came to the store for because they did have some good clearance prices but look they have skincare stuff pool inflatable toys um hunting stuff they had so many things here it was a little overwhelming and honestly we were in this aisle for at least 10 minutes look at this turkey look at my husband y'all look at him out here attack me with that damn turkey <laughs> um but we came on this aisle because it's like right in the section like right near the hunting stuff because we have to get uh, a cooler for the meat so in the meantime here we are just kind of lollygagging for a little bit of time here we didn't realize how much time we actually spent in the store we honestly spent like 45 minutes to an hour in this store and um obviously that delayed our little ETA a little bit, but honestly with kids and everything we had to do multiple stops anyway to feed the baby to do butt changes You know just regular human pee breaks in general um, Oh look guys, they have a ring light. That's actually probably a good deal I didn't like look at the price because obviously I have like a million ring lights So I had no need for it Like look at these kids toys Monopoly like, nobody plays board games anymore. Can somebody explain that to me? Why don't we play board games anymore? And, like, sit down and have fun? I mean, I guess I kind of hate board games. But, like, I have to be in, like, a real mood. Look at the bean man. Look at him. He's so big. You guys, you could definitely score some early Christmas presents. Because some of the stuff really wasn't opened. 
Um, it, some of it was just, it's been here a while, um, it was unopened, but like look, Razor scooters, coffee makers, like the grills, there was even a trampoline on the bottom. But look at all this stuff, so overwhelming. What we actually came home for. Charles, sit on your butt. Almost. Yeah, wheels? this is for the meat. Mm -hmm. I have wheels? No. Oh. You carrying the baby or pushing the cart? Trash. You did? You guys, we still have two hours left in this trip, um, and then we actually had to stop, do the normal pee bake, actually get some gas, and then I had to pump milk, and my husband was like super exhausted, so I was like, yeah, no, I'm driving, so you don't like wreck the whole entire truck. Um, so we stopped at Sheets, got some food. This is what the outside of the hotel looks like. That was like the entryway, but they had like another side where we were at. And look, we got there at 12, 13 in the morning. We were originally supposed to get here at like 11 o'clock. This is the tour of the room. We kept it simple and got two double beds. Um, we didn't get anything too fancy. This is kind of just a general tour of the room. It's just your typical room. You have your desk, TV, AC, and then I'll show you what the bathroom looked like. There's Beanie. He's asleep. We're getting ready to take him out of the thing. There's a refrigerator too, so I was able to refrigerate my milk. There's our shower. And then there's me. I clearly live in leggings and pullover sweatshirts. So, yeah. This is what I'm wearing. And then I have my hoodie, which is right here. Blends in with the bed. And I got my hoodie. Oh, this is what my belly looks like. Today we are 29 days postpartum. Is it really 29? No, I'm coming. Why are you not making it? So my belly looks like. Unlock these doors. Yeah. I told Amber she can buy them. All right. So I pumped this morning. It was a quick pump session, so I still probably have milk in there, but six ounces in the bed. Here's the bee man. Here's the other little boy. And we are packing up the room. Put one right here. One, like two? Sit so one right here, like this. There you go, maybe. Yeah. And then where's the other one? Put the other one right here. Uh oh. Uh, Got it? Yeah. And put it on like that, and then turn this to the right. Other to way, the right. Other way. This way. Other way. Not that, candy. No, no, put that down. Ew, that's dirty. 
candy. Hey, look. look. What is this? What'd you get? It's I think suit. I know what it is. What is it? Tattoo. What's on your tattoo? Mm. I want this one. I want more coins. <laughs> Um, I don't think Another we have time. any more. Another time. We're gonna go get some donuts. Let's go get donuts. some food for the the boys well for everyone and then I'm gonna feed Bean Man can you take a more candy it says mom the sun is not it that we used he was fantastic 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend and then I got this old 20 back in change and I just thought it was cool because I hadn't seen one of these in a while and then as we're driving we saw this huge car show I am so upset we didn't get to stop but it's okay we didn't have time because we only came up here just for the day to well the night to the day to just pick up the meat so we were limited on the amount of time that we had um, but this car show was massive, and then we all decided we were hungry, so we were like, let's go ahead and stop at Texas Roadhouse. I've been thinking about these rolls all day, and my son is obsessed with vending machines. And every time he sees these, he always wants to play, but then, like, you know as an adult that you never, ever, ever win at these. So it's just kind of like, eh, okay. And then none of us wanted to pick out a steak, but here's the food. So we ordered a quarter of a cow and then we split that with our mother-in-law um, so that she could have meat because obviously you can tell this is a ton of meat. Um, and then this is our portion of the meat. Obviously she didn't need nearly as much as we did and we have a much larger freezer to store all this than she does. So here I am putting all the meat away. The baby called himself helping me. And clearly you can tell my freezer is full. I forgot to clean the freezer out before we left. So I was kind of like last minute squeezing everything in to the cupboards and my son was helping me <laughs> and then every piece of meat he had to grab he magically just kept having to like try to bang it with his little hammer and then he kept breaking his hammer so like I was just trying to like instruct him and be like hey come on focus focus let's go back regroup um but clearly we okay so this is a clear overview of all the meat that you guys you know can see that we got he really didn't spend that much money on this meat I think we spent less than a couple hundred dollars um I think we spent about six six or seven hundred dollars on meat 
Um, but this is kind of everything in the fridge. Uh, the baby was helping me kind of get everything together, and you can tell here he is playing with his little hammer. After I put the meat away, I literally just got up and went to bed because we were so tired. We didn't get back home until late, and it took me a little while to get the meat put back in the fridge, and then my husband had to go and help um, his mom get the meat in her fridge, and then, you know, it was just a very, very long night. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you want more videos like this, keep on watching. I have them up all month long.